All right, so this is a trade recap from November 24th where I took two trades, one on Boeing, one on Tesla, and made 678 bucks in four minutes between both of them. And I'm sure as everyone already knows, Tesla has caught some serious momentum and it's great to trade, so I have to take advantage while it lasts. So now just to get into the technicals, obviously Tesla is in full-blown breakout mode and it's hard to tell when it's gonna stop. So when it comes to the levels, I try to keep it very simple. I'm using prior days high and pre-market high because when it's blue skies above, you never know when it's gonna slow down. So coming into the 24th, I was looking at prior days high, which was 526, also a new all-time high. It's making a new all-time high every single day. And then looking at the right, the five minute, 548.60 was pre-market high. So just knowing that was an area that I wanted to trade around. Okay, now Boeing. So I had a big move from 150, almost made a high of 225, got there pretty quick, needed a bit of a pullback to breathe, digest that move, held 200, held the nine EMA, had a very nice green candle off the nine, coming in this morning, cleared that prior day's high. So it was above 214.21, letting me know that buyers were clearly in control. So just some basic levels to trade around. I was looking at pre-market high, 220, and knowing that that prior pivot high on the daily, 223.02. And who knows if it can get there today, but if it does, I would think if there's anybody still short, they would wanna cover and that would kickstart some more momentum. So knowing all that and all the technicals, let's get into the trades. So the first trade is gonna be on Boeing. And what did Boeing do off the open? Had a little bit of a pullback, held the nine, starting to reclaim VWAP. This is a pattern that I see a lot and I feel like I always talk about. When strong stocks have a gap up, sometimes there can be some profit taking and then when it finally builds some support, reclaims VWAP. If there was anybody who was trying to short, I feel like they start to get squeezed. And then there's obviously a lot of other people probably looking to get long. So buyers come in and then it can kickstart that momentum. If I could critique myself on this trade, I think 219 was a really good entry because it kind of failed there prior. And then once it broke through resistance, that would have been a good area to give it a shot, risking off 218, so giving it about a point. And instead, I just kind of hesitated, didn't take it, and I wanted to see that 220 break. And even though I made a little bit of money on this trade, it just goes to show entries are very important. Getting a really good entry is the difference between making a little bit and having a nice winner. But now all I'm waiting for is that high day break. So it's clearly set an opening range right around 220 down to 216. If it gets up to 220, that's an opening range break. And also knowing that there is that prior pivot high on the daily right around 223. Could it get there today? Maybe, I have no idea, but all I'm really looking for is that quick momentum pop. And I should have got long right here, just before the 220 break. And instead I kind of hesitated for half a second, which hey, look, sometimes it happens, happens to the best of us. And instead I took it just over the 220 break, which wasn't horrible, but it's not the best. I'm, I'm still always trying to work on my entries, but it got through 220, tape started to pick up. Now I just wanna continuously keep seeing the tape be strong, orders go through really fast and hold up. So now going into 220.50, a little bit of size on the offer, gets through it, tape starting to speed up, 220.80s, but every move higher is struggling a little bit. So I'm not thinking that this is gonna go really far, 221, a lot of size on the offer, couldn't really get through it. Ton of orders stacked at 221, and it can't really get through it. So a lot of times, whole numbers can be areas where stocks have trouble getting through, and maybe they pull back. I don't wanna be a part of those pullbacks. So if I see that it will struggle there a few times, and it starts to look weak, I'll just get out of the trade. But up into 221 again, less size on the offer, still can't get through it. And that's like four or five green candles in a row. So when it starts to pull back, I end up just getting out of the trade right there just to be safe, and I only made $75 on the trade. Had I got a better entry right around 219, I probably would have made closer to two or $300, so entries are everything. So it's something that I'm constantly working on. And here was the Tesla trade. So Tesla pulled back pretty hard off the open, and even though there were some flag patterns to short there, I'm just not a fan of shorting Tesla. I do it every now and then, but it's so strong that even if it pulls off the open, at some point throughout the day, it usually reclaims view app and has some sort of high of day break. So even though it takes a while, just being patient, sometimes it takes like an hour and I'm just patient enough to wait for it. Waiting for that high of day break can create a nice opportunity. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. So this pulled back, reclaimed view app, had a nice period of consolidation. And look at that, one, two, double top. If this tests this high, 52.50 area for a third time, 
I think it's going to break. So I have the 545 calls loaded. I'm only trading five. It got real tight above VWAP. And that was a nice, strong green one minute candle right off 540 and broke that prior pivot high. So trying to anticipate the high day, I get long right around 542. Knowing that high day is 543.17 and it got tested two times prior, Tesla is so strong. So if it gets there for the third time, I think that there's going to be some follow through. So that's what I'm anticipating. And I got long right around 542, but I think a better entry would have been right around 541.50, right when it cleared that prior consolidation where there was about four or five candles of consolidation. So even though the entry was okay, it could have been better. We're now approaching high day and this looks pretty good. So my fill on the options is 1086. So now I'm just watching the option contracts, but also want to give this a minute because it is coming up to high day for the third time. So this should have some follow through just because it's caught so much momentum. And now it's coming up to high day and look at the tape real fast. 543 has a little bit of size on the offer. Just want to see it get through the whole number. A lot of orders just went off on the tape. 543 again, right through it. 543.20s, right up to 543.50. Tape really starting to speed up. Went like a point in a couple seconds. 544 had some size right through it. So that was a pretty quick move. And I'm all about taking the quick move, like I mentioned all the time. And as this starts to speed up, I'm thinking I got to get ready to get out. So now any sort of weakness I see, I'm ready to just take profits. Nice push into 544.50s. Pulls back a bit and I end up just getting out of the trade. So very nice high day break that took a while to develop after the pullback in the morning. And I ended up making $603 in two minutes on that trade and ended up 678 on the day. And that was it. Took those two trades and called it. Pretty awesome to be able to make that kind of money in only four minutes of hold time. And that's it. That was the Boeing and Tesla trade recap from November 24th. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.